Hi everybody, I'm Greg from Kyback Tech Support. Uh, today we're going to show you how to replace the, uh, the three-way selector valve um, on your 1750. So first thing we need to do is get our trench hose out of the way and our extension cord. Now there are uh, four screws on this panel here that's going to need to come off. We're going to need to remove this black knob as well. Um, and uh, once we get all that loosened up, we're going to lower the black box, which is just removing those. And we've got some wing nuts there on the side. So let me get this knob off. This uses a, a, a small Allen wrench. There's a couple different sizes of this one. Um, so I can't really tell you which one it is. Just loosen it, pops right off. And then uh, I want to remove these four Phillips head screws. we get those screws off, we can take our uh, 7 8 wrench here and we're just going to loosen this little locking nut here that holds the valve in. Now, you're also going to need to take this black clamp off of the uh, chemical injector. Just kind of grab it by one side, twist it, she'll usually pop right off. And then with your pliers, just grab the hose right at about where that brass ends and just kind of pinch and wiggle and pull at the same time. So we got that off of there. Now, um, we need to lower the black box, take off these thumb screws here above the switches. And over here on this side, we've got uh, two yellow wing nuts. We're going to remove this one here. And then over here on this side, there's two more. There's this one here in the middle we've got to remove. Now the two at the very bottom, just leave those there. Um, we'll be able to pivot the uh, black box down. So we've got everything disconnected up here. So what you do, uh, I'm gonna remember to disconnect this hose here. So if you just lift up on the handle a little bit and pull back, she'll drop right down. So if you've got the yellow chemical cap, you'll need to take that off. And then there are three clamps. Uh, on these hoses. I use some diagonal cutters and just uh, snip off one side of them and then you can grab the other side and just pull it off. So we've got to take the two of them off on this one and we got one on this one. So once you get the clamps off just go inside and grab your valve here, feed these hoses through, and you are ready to put on your new three-way valve. All right, to put the new valve in, um, just going to go in reverse order. So let's get prep our valve. We're going to remove the uh, black knob, remove this little locking nut here. Move your wires off to the side. Take your locking nut and just get it started. Just to hold it in place. All right, so um, you'll notice there's three hoses coming off of this three-way valve. You got two uh, on the side um, and then a shorter one here in the back. 
So the short one you're going to put through this hole on the side that goes to our injector. This uh, next size will go through the hole up at the top and then this longer one will go through the other hole at the top. So um, now we need to, um, we're going to connect our hose to our injector and clamp that one with one of our new clamps. We'll put the uh, black plastic clamp on. Just squeeze it with your fingers for now to hold it in place. We'll tighten it here in a minute. You can go ahead and connect your injector if you want. Alright, so then take your uh, the three metal uh, clamps and they go on the end of the hose. Now this real long one, the first one you're going to put on goes all the way up. The purpose of this one is to keep that hose um, from getting pushed down in there. Catching on something when you go to pull it out. So that's really the purpose of that one. Uh, then you want to put another one on the end of this hose. Doesn't really matter where it is. Um, three or four inches in is fine. And the, uh, the purpose of these are to keep the metering tips from getting sucked down into your selector valve. So this one here you can put oh three or four inches down. Now if you were to get a metering tip sucked down in there, you can actually uh, just squeeze it out using some pliers on, on this side of it. As you squeeze it, it's going to work itself out. Um, if you take this hose and just dip it down into a cup of uh, hot tap water just to soften the hose up a little bit, that will help you get that out a little easier. So once we've got our clamps on our hoses, uh, our valve is in place. Um, so what we'll do is go ahead and stand that up and finish putting it on. So standing it up, just kind of lift up on the handles. Now watch out for this hose here. You got to kind of tuck it back in behind there to make sure it doesn't get pinched. Line the keys up and she should stay there. All right, so before you uh, put your uh, Phillips screws back in to hold the cover plate on, you just need to tighten this little um, locking nut here. Just hold it in place. It doesn't have to be torqued down. You do want it to be snug though so it doesn't work itself out. So got that on. Take our four Phillips screws. them up with the old holes as best we can but again that's not real real important to do you do want to get it close so you don't have the exposed um, holes there you don't need to over tighten those you don't want to crack that plate um, so take them and you don't want to strip out the, uh, the holes either so Then take your black knob, pop it on there with your Allen wrench, tighten up this little set screw. Make sure she turns good. And that is how you replace the three-way selector valve on a 1750.